Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I am back with the second video series of the next chapter from Integrated Social Science, Ratna Sagar, Class Six, and the chapter which we are going to discuss today is the very sixth chapter of the book from Geography: Major Landforms of the Earth. Before starting the chapter, let us see the contents which we are going to deal with in this chapter. The contents are forces. Basically, we'll be reading about the types of forces which are responsible for the formation of these major landforms. Okay, of the major landforms, uh, tectonic and gradational. Then we'll move on to the mountains, the first major landform which we are going to discuss. and we'll also be discussing on the terms related to mountain and then we'll move on to the types of mountain how they are formed okay uh, about the formation of the mountains after that we'll move on to plateaus types of plateaus intermountain continental and lava and then we'll move on to plains along with these major landforms we'll also be discussing how these major landforms are useful to human beings and how they are useful to us so basically we'll be discussing these things in the chapter today today i'm going to take you around the globe to witness the natural beauty of our earth and as we all know that beauty which our earth is blessed with as the landforms and uh, today we'll be discussing on the landforms in the next video we'll be discussing uh we will be exploring their exist exciting formation process as well so the very first question that comes to our mind when we are reading this chapter it's what are the landforms of the earth isn't it so what are the landforms of the earth see just like all living beings have certain physical features that distinguish them from each other similarly the planet earth is made up of various unique features and characteristics so what we call landforms Yes my dear students what is landform the landform is the natural geographical or physical features of the earth that are classified into various types you have already studied about uh, various landforms in your previous class like such as mountains hills valleys plateaus plains etc but before we shed some light on these types of landforms let us briefly examine the process leading to the formation of these features landforms are results of two processes the first or the internal process leads to the upliftment and sinking of earth surface at several places the second or the external process is the continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the land surfaces the wearing away of the earth surface is called erosion and the surface is being lowered by the process of erosion and rebuilt by the process of deposition okay the surface is rebuilt by the process of deposition and these two processes are carried out by running water ice and wind broadly we can group different landforms depending on elevation and slope as mountains plateaus and plains now we know that uh, what are the forces what are the processes that are responsible for the formation of various landforms we all know that the surface of earth is not uniform uh, everywhere as you can see here also in this image as you can see that the formation is not similar okay the formation of the the surface of the earth is not uniform at some places you will see that it is several thousands several thousands above from the mean sea level okay at while some places it is it is it is at some level and is flat at the top and at some level it's totally flat okay 
So, uh, these variations on the surface, on the land surface are called relief features and the way the landforms have developed on the earth surface, surface offers a sound basis for their classification and three major types of landforms which we are going to discuss today are are classified on the basis of their elevation, their relief and slope are mountains, plateaus and plains. So, in this particular chapter, we are going to deal with these three major landforms that is the mountains, the plateaus and plains. But before moving to the next topic, mountains and the terms related to the mountains in the next video, let us have a look to build map showing the distribution of major, major landforms all over uh, the world. So let us see that map. So as you can see here in this particular map, the world this is the world map and this map is basically uh, showing us the distribution of major landforms. So I think uh, this map is already given in your book also in page number 139. Do go through this map. Is uh, This map is very important. This map is already showing us the major landforms, basically how uh, these major landforms are distributed all over the uh, land surfaces all over the world, uh, whether it is the mountains uh, denoted symbolized by dark uh, brown color, uh, the plateaus uh, symbolized by the light blue color and the plain symbolized by green color. So these, this is the distribution of major landforms. Uh, I'll come to an end of this uh, video this module in the next the next module we'll be discussing uh, the formation the terms related to the mountain as well as uh, the formation of mountains as well so i call it a day keep smiling